Hi Pisces, welcome to your new love reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, this is still a singles reading. I just changed the title from singles to new love. So this is intended still for singles who are wondering when they may have new love, a new encounter, a next relationship, or maybe even the next date, however that is for you. And um, I did change the format just a little tiny bit. So if you'd like to leave a comment, let me know what you think. And then my past readings, I did look into this person's energy, um, how and where you may meet them, a time frame, what kind of connection it will be. In this one, we will do uh, still look at their energy, but then I'll look at how you would feel about each other, what blockages or challenges may be in the connection, and then what the advice, uh, advice, guidance, possible outcome could be for the connection. So if you like this format, or again, if you have any advice or tips or questions you'd like me to ask um, within the reading, um, leave me a comment. I'm open to anything. Um, so this is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female watching. It could be possible. I could pick up on a past connection. I mean, that can happen, but this is intended, and my intention is for something new. So hopefully that plays out for you. If you feel like it's not resonating for you, then it may not be for you. You can check the description box below for links to your general and love uh, playlist. If you'd like to go back, watch past readings. I do consider them timeless, so you're welcome to do that. So please only take it how it resonates for you. So let's see what we have for Pisces for new love coming in. So with this deck here, we'll sort of get uh, their energy. What kind of energy are they sitting in? And this deck will get like their spirit, soul kind of energy. And with this deck, we'll get like their love energy, what their love energy is like. And then we'll clarify all that energy with the tarot. All right, for Pisces. And you can check the description box below. Tons of information down there. And if you're new, you can check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to subscribe and hit the bell. All that great stuff be greatly appreciated. And if you do, thank you. We get about four or five readings a month. So, all right, for Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Let's see for new love, incoming Pisces, singles. What is this person's energy? Okay. All right, we've got one already. So I'm going to pull all three first, and then I'll go over those, and then we'll pull the tarot. For Pisces, new love, sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female, general. This is a general collective reading, not, not a private reading, but if you like a private reading, all that information is below. For Pisces. What is this person's spirit, soul, energy like? Oh, feeling that one. For Pisces. All right. Let's see what their love energy is like. Incoming new person for Pisces. Singles. What is this person's love energy like for Pisces, please? Thank you so much. One more. All right. New love, incoming love for Pisces. What is this person's love energy like, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Okay, that one. All right. Let's see what we have, Pisces. So we have the solar plexus chakra. So this is uh, a three. So this is about putting in the work, teamwork, dedicated effort, it's a social energy also. So the solar plexus is all about uh, that fire in your belly. It's who you are as a person. It's your identity, your originality. It's what makes you you, um, what drives you, what you know fulfills you, what you feel your life purpose is. So let's see. So this person... I'm getting energy that, that they may, um, how can I say this, be somebody who's all about like being on their mission, kind of, in a way. Um, when we get to the tower, we'll clarify that energy. So I feel I feel like, you know, it's, it's about originality, identity. So it may be like about all the, about their status, their identity. Um, living up to a reputation kind of energy. I don't know why I'm getting that with that. But you know, that is solar is the sun. So that is about happiness, joy, expansion, healing, you know, all that kind of energy. And you know, the sun represents your sun sign. So it makes you, you what you are. 
So let's see here. So we have easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring. Perfect timing. So I don't know. I just feel like this person is constantly on the go. They're constantly working. They're constantly doing this, doing that, trying to keep up their reputation, kind of keep up their status quo, uh, living up to their, you know, identity kind of, I know this is what I'm kind of getting because we have easy does it here. All right, so let's see here. We have like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. So we have two, which is about unity and partnerships. So, so I'm, I'm getting this person maybe all about their work, their career, their finance, their identity, their, you know, status quo, their, you know, all that kind of energy. And maybe they don't really take time for love. <laughs> you know, they may want it. They may, you know, need it or want it or yearn for it. But I feel like they really don't take the time to, like, look for it or, um really get out there and find their person. So, yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think they're really even out there looking and if they are, they're not doing it the right way is kind of what I'm getting with that. Oh boy, Pisces. All right, let's see who this person is. Let's clarify this energy. Let's clarify this energy for you, Pisces. And I just noticed the sun is on there. <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's clarify this energy for pisces what is this energy all about all about this new person coming in for pisces the hangman yeah i think this person's kind of just like in limbo and as for the corp cards i'm only going to use for signs the kings and queens so it's not so confusing otherwise we're going to have every sign here anyway so they could literally be any sign, and I know everybody likes to hear the sign, so I'm just going to go by uh, court cards as in the king and queens as for signs. So we do have the hangman kind of energy. So let's let's get all the energy out, and then I'll read it. So we got the hangman. Oops. What well, else about this person or Pisces, please? We have strength. Man and strength. The Ace of Wands. Yeah, so they could be somebody very creative, um, created their own identity, created their own business, created their wealth, their status. Um, very, they could be a very strong willed person, also. I feel like they don't like things to be in limbo because you see this person wrestling that beast. <laughs> so. Queen of Swords, King or Queen. So now we have um, Libra energy. So the, you know, the Queen of Swords can be kind of cold, King or Queen. So I feel like they're kind of, not that they're cold towards love, but they're just not in the right, like, love energy to attract love to them. I think they're all about everything else in their life but love. So, I mean, they may date, they may, may have had relationships, but I feel like... I don't know. I feel like they never had a lasting one. Intemperance energy. So this is, you know, is about healing, balance, being patient. So it could be this person. I mean, the hangman is a person, you know, is kind of in limbo, not really taking any action, but taming the beast from within. I think this is someone's very strong and courageous. Uh, they're very creative. They created their own success, their own identity, their own, um, you know, kind of energy. They may seem a little cold and detached towards love. But and maybe, I think they're working on it, though, with the temperance energy. I think they're trying to work on that energy not being so, like, not cold towards love, but just, I don't know. It's just isn't really, like, on the top of their list. It's more like on the bottom. I think everything else in life, career, work, finances, keeping up their uh, reputation or whatever here um, is more important. But I think they're learning here with the temperance to balance out their energy here. You know, they could be thinking about it with the hangman because you gain new perspectives. 
look at things from different angles. So I think maybe now they're starting to realize I have to be more in the energy of wanting love and looking for love, putting it more as a priority than on the bottom of their list. And you know, when they may have relationships in the past and it was just about the passion. So I have a feeling that they probably didn't last. And I probably started to realize that with the uh, Queen of Swords, King of Queen of Swords, seeing truth and clarity, you know, different perspectives here. So I think they're starting to realize uh, that they probably want love in their life, but they need to make it more of a priority. All right, so let's see how you would feel about this person, Pisces. Seven of Cups energy. Yeah, you're going to feel a little confused by them. Not sure. They're like, yeah, I'm not so sure about you. <laughs> I'm not so sure. A little confused. Not so sure. Nine of Swords. It's a little stressed out there about them. Like, you're not sure. But we do have the Six of Swords. So, I mean, you're willing to try to try to see if this will go, in, you know, if we keep going. You know, Six of Swords is about moving on to a better place, to peace, harmony, balance. So you want to try. I think you're going to give it a try, see if it if it would go like in a good direction. But you're going to be a little like unsure and they may stress you out a little bit for some reason. You're like, uh, I don't know, this person kind of stresses me out a little bit. I'm not so sure about them, but I want to give it a go, a, a try here. There may be, you know, a lot of attraction between the two of you. So let's see how this person will feel about you. Feel about you. So we're getting a lot of uh, cups and swords so far. So let's see how this person would feel about Pisces. The stars. Oh my gosh. They're going to see you as a wish and a dream come true. Very dreamy energy. Um, faith, hope, optimism. Divinely guided energy. They're like going to be like, this is my person sent to me you know, my wish and my dream come true. They're going to, they're going to see you as like heavenly. <laughs> like, oh my God. And the queen of cups just like flew out. So that is cancer energy. So, so far we have Libra and cancer. So yeah, they're going to, wow. They're going to fall head over heels for you. I think Pisces, but you're going to be I don't know. I'm sure by them. I'm sure by them. Maybe they, they don't know how to show like love and affection because they've been so concentrated on past relate, you know, connections they had was just the passion and everything else was work, career, finances, um, being social and seen and reputation, keeping up their identity. So let's see, um, one more for how this person will feel about Pisces spirit, please. The Harithan. Oh my gosh. They want to, may want to marry you, <laughs> commit, marry. It's it's like oh my god, they're gonna fall head over heels for you, and see you as a dream, a dream. They're gonna be this person's my dream. They're gonna want to marry you, commit right away, and you're like yeah, I'm not so sure about this. I'm a little nervous. But let's see where it goes. The six of swords. Let's see you know how good this gets. Where it goes. I feel so it could be something at nighttime outside how you meet them um, either summertime either summertime or winter because we have cups and swords so uh, that's what I'm getting you know either outside somewhere park neighborhood um, or something at night under the stars could even be you know, like 4th of July fireworks or something. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's see here. Let's see what obstacles, challenges for this connection. So we got the two of swords. Let's lay out all the energy. The four of wands. Ooh. Yeah, there's that commitment. Marriage. Two of swords being indecisive. The Empress energy, knowing value and worth. They, I mean, the Empress can be a mother, children, birth of something new. Oh my gosh, they're gonna want to marry you and have children like right away. <laughs> and you're like, uh, what? 
you're going to be indecisive about this. That's going to be the challenge and the block. The five of swords, yeah, energy. What else? And the page of swords. So what I feel here, there may be a lack of clear communication because of someone not willing to make a decision. Again, the four of wands is usually my twin flame card, but it doesn't have to be. But this is going to be about marriage, commitment. We did have the Hierophant over here. So they may want to marry you, have children, settle down, like, right away. And you're only going to be indecisive, like, hold on, you know, wait a minute, what? Five of Swords energy, again, is that energy of, is this a losing, losing battle? You know, do we give up fight or fight for it? Or I think you're not going to be sure what to do with this person. And there may be a lack of communication, being honest. So I think, you know, once, and I think they're going to tell you exactly what they want and which will leave you indecisive and unsure about that whole situation. Maybe really quickly, you know, this happens and you're not going to know whether or not to fight for it or back down or back away. You know, the five of swords can be like a losing battle, you know, is, did I do all this for nothing? So I think you're going to be unsure. A lot of sword energy here in one. So I do see there'll be a lot of fire and passion between you also. So that's going to be the block, you know, to see if someone can make up their mind about this person. If this is going too fast, this is, you know, committing too soon, having a, you know, commitment, marriage right away, family. I think you're going to be like, are you nuts with the five of swords energy? <laughs> oh. And you may actually withdraw from them for a while until you figure this out and say, hey, can we slow down a little bit here? I mean, we don't have a lot of pentacles here, but, but I mean, four of wands does have, and the stars is divinely guided energy. The temperance angel here usually brings the soulmates together. So let's see, let's see what advice, guidance, possible outcome in this connection Easy does it, yeah. So they're going to want to move this very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. <laughs> all right. It's like, I think they're going to be like, I've been lacking this my whole life, and now I just want it all right now. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. So the Spirit is saying this could go to the Ten of Pentacles. Total wealth, abundance, family dynamic, marriage, commitment, stability, growth, expansion. Now we have the King of Swords. So now we have the matching couple. The King and Queen of Swords. So this is Gemini energy. So this is a matching couple. This is a soulmate, divine counterparts. I did have the Four of Wands here. But it may happen so quickly that you may doubt it, fear it, block it, um, be indecisive. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody may hold back here for a time. Ten of Swords. So... <laughs> <sighs> So holding back, but Ten of Swords is an ending. So why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here for an ending? You got two tens. So Spirit is saying the advice of guidance is, do you want the Ten of Pentacles or you just want to end it? So let's see. Now we have the King of Pentacles. So now we have Virgo. So this is someone stable, secure, grounded. Again, they could be a business owner, smart, practical, analytical. Eight of cups, yeah, walking away. So some may decide to walk away here. I think this person is going to rush it too fast, too soon, too much, like all at once. And it may scare you off Pisces. And somebody may walk away here. Or vice versa. I mean, energies can change. But I think there's, you know, they want to be someone stable and grounded. But I think it's going to be too much too soon. And it does have a potential here to be long-lasting. You know, I feel one wants that and the other one is like, this is too much too soon. So yeah, it might cause a tower moment here. So this might just, whole thing might just blow apart. Maybe a very fast, quick, intense little uh, connection here. 
All right, so anything else? Anything else? Five of Wands. Yeah, very conflicting energy. There might be arguments about this. And that may end it. You know, one may say, I want the Ten of Pentacles. You know, I, you know, and the other may hold back. May be explosive, may be arguing. Um, and someone's going to walk away here. But we do have the Queen of Wands energy at the bottom. So that can be Aries energy here. So a lot of fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. Three of Wands. So you may make this person wait or somebody may make somebody wait here. Whether they decide, you know, whether or not they want this. You know, again, there's a lot of fiery, passionate energy here. And the Four of Swords. Yeah, taking some time back, retreat time to really think about it. You know, do Eight of Pentacles wanting, do we put in the good work, the hard work? Do I want to put in that work? To have this Ace of Pentacles. Now, here's a brand new beginning. It's stable, it's secure, it's grounded, it's for the long term. That could go to the Ten of Pentacles. Or that's what somebody, that's what the other party wants. They want to make this offer to the Ten of Pentacles and manifest a brand new beginning here with the Magician. Um, now we have the King and Queen of Wands. Now we got the King of Wands, which is could be Sagittarius. So now we have two matching couples. So this does have, you know, potential for twin flame soulmate energy, but I think it's going to happen too rapidly, too quickly. Someone's going to rush it too soon, may push the other one away. Kind of energy. So that's what I'm seeing with that. But it does have potential if we can kind of slow down and tame the energy. So as with the strength energy here, instead of uh, blowing this apart, but... Unfortunately, I've seen it may get blown apart. Um, if this person, if they could take it slower and just let it go with the flow, uh, this does have potential. Okay, Pisces. Well, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.